So let's explore the docks. We gotta get there though. Um, I looked up the red. Oh, I already know one person has fatigue. Let me see. I think I don't have anything anymore. Uh, anemia, cold, fatigue. Yeah, I don't. let's at least make one. So if we meet that one person. I still have so many things. It, we should easily be able to cure fatigue. Okay, let's see. The ducks. What was I saying? Fuck. I forgot. Hope I can come tomorrow. Yeah, I hope you can go too, Pika. but I, honestly, I think your back's gonna be too painful still. You might just wanna take it easy. I don't think you can drive, be in a car for an hour and then sit around there for like multiple hours. I don't think you can do that yet. Pika had, uh, Pika has really bad back issues at the moment. He had to go to the hospital yesterday. Um, you know what? Let's just kill these people. 17. Should be fine. Jeez. Nah. Nah. Resist it. Motherfucker. I got you. Oh, he put me on fire. Um, but yeah, he uh, he had to have it checked out, and he basically just needs a lot of rest uh, for the pain to go away. And after that, we need to start working on training his back muscles um, to strengthen his back, basically, so that it doesn't happen again. That's that's like the short version of it. Is he already seeing me? No. Checking the door. Okay, let's go here. I should remove that marker. That's my um, safe house in Whitechapel. Remove. Okay, we have to go here. Yeah, let's put the custom marker on uh, on this hideout. That should help us. Oh, hello! How you doing? Nom 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 And screech! And chop! And chop! Chop! Oh, oh, oh. Let's not be in there. <laughs> you are no match for me. Fuck off. Honestly, this weapon is great. It's just my tanky Neo style, I guess. Hey, Alice. Yeah, he's wearing, wearing, wearing like a corset thing as like a back correction thing. He's my sad little baby. Sad little giant, I should say. Let's see. Okay, I gotta cross the bridge. So many people here. I guess if I kill them, I'll just... They might not come back as soon, so that's that might be nice. Good thing he missed right in front of me. Ah. No! Oh, that hurts. There we go. Six more blood. Give him a scratch. The scratch doesn't kill them. It's kind of weird. Ah! 
There. Okay. Okay. Where's the big guy? Where'd he disappear? I really wish the items they drop would, like, light up more. Um, to my left. I just avoided a lot of people here. No, it looks like I got it. Did I open this one? Yeah! Oh yeah, this is this is like the area. I was I was afraid of that person in the back there, but he's someone I already talked to. I now remembered. Okay, let's see. Can't go up there? Hmm. Okay, get ready for about two hours of talking to people. <laughs> Hello? Anybody home? I will take your stuff. Thank y'all. Cover letter. Hey Frank, how are you my old friend? It was good to see you last week. Next time let me get the rounds in. I hope everything is okay on your side of town. Here in your old neighborhood the situa situation is getting worse. Clay is getting more violent every day and is only thinking about expansion, even when it seems there are, there are some new players around trying to dispute our territory. The wet boot boys are in the bad spot, I'm afraid. So I thought I, about what you said last time we met, that you never regretted leaving the gang, that the only thing you regret is never being able to put food, foot in East End again to avoid a good beating or worse. Well, rest assured that you'd have my protection if you decide to pass by. Maybe we could talk again about new opportunities and job offer. You know, I always have been good with numbers, so maybe if you need an accountant in your company, let's talk about that, shall we? Say hello to your wife for me. WBB for life? Oh, Web Boot Boys. Old chap, Booth Digby. Wait, I know that dude. I already talked to him, I think. He's in the Whitechapel. There we go, got some money. This is locked. I cannot enter. Haven't I just been there? Uh, hmm. Maybe that's for later. Bye, hubby. Okay, so I think this is the dude I talked to. Wait, Booth Dickby, this is the dude that I have a hint for. You again. What do you want? Talk to you. I know you're looking for an honest job. He's looking for an out. You're tired of this criminal life, aren't you? It's just an idea. Edwina loves to run things hey, so Ragged. much. You can never really leave the gang. Wet boys for life, you know. Wet boys. We're the wet bandits. Goodbye, Mr. Digby. That was it. Okay, let's see who else we can talk to. This lady. Good evening, miss. I am Dr. Reed. May I ask you a few questions? Who are you? What do you want? As I just told you, I'm a doctor. From the Pembroke Hospital, actually. The Pembroke Hospital, you say? I ain't paying any bill left by Clay. I'm not here <gasps> to collect Clay's any, wife? Miss... Miss Clay Edwina Cox. Cox. Yeah, and we know. Fancy buying something from me, maybe. Damn, he has a good-looking wife. I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you he know looks like I Tesla. <laughs> yeah, I guess Sad so. Same. Thank I you, he taken. Or something. Yes, he was, but he left hospital recently. You don't say. Well, I suppose it's good news for the homeless and the useless. Ask them; they must know something. You still use your husband's name, Edwina. Why is Aren't that? they still together? Why shouldn't I? Maybe a bloody bastard, yeah. but I'm still his wife and his name means something round here. You never paid him a visit at the Pembroke Hospital, did you? And I don't intend to. In Clay's case, I'm not against a medical mistake or a little help from the Spanish flu. 
<laughs> Chalrin, that Home Alone reference registered in my mind oddly quickly. <laughs> what can you tell me about yeah, that Home Alone's I'm great. I really I like the game, things, Emily, yeah. It's a bit tiring to just sit through so much dialogue, but I do think it's really well done. Can't be easy running double shifts. If you're interested, I may find use of a doctor who can freely walk across the city, you know. I'm not at all interested. You're a blunt woman. You're quite blunt, aren't you? I like people who know what they want and say what they think. This is a time explains of why she likes clay. <laughs> to embrace their destiny. I'm not interested in a career in the criminal underworld, Miss Cox. Fair enough, Miss Cox. Stay away from us, then. Hey, Venero. Hey, Mama. Since my return from the war, I don't feel that concerned by threats, knives, or even bullets. If you must know. That's exactly what that stupid trade unionist claimed after he attacked one of us. Booth and I reminded him a bullet beats words every time. Every time. What can you tell me about this part of town? You can't trust anyone around here. As soon as you lower your guard, you can be sure some arsehole will take advantage of you. Really? Don't you think that's a little bit excellent? She's Cox's wife. Bastards, Cox's wife. All of them. Clay Cox's Edwina wife, Edwina. To violence so yeah, she likes him. She's like, like he's an arsehole, but he's my arsehole. <laughs> That's what she said. They must pay Basically. Me every week, but it looks like they forgot a e mission to steal from the dead. Looting corpses in a mass grave. That's... That is a new low. Whatever. Hey, since you're a doctor and all, maybe you can access that forbidden area and remind those bastards what they owe. I had a new hint somewhere. Must be personal questions. There we Who go. Digby looks at you with love-struck eyes. Tell me, Edwina, is the feeling mutual? You have no idea how oh, hey, it can be for a woman to receive all the pleasure she Hey, buddy. For once. Hmm. I'll take your word for it. What is it, doctor? A woman's not supposed to talk about these things. Behind all your crude words and your attitude, I sense romance and a soft heart, Miss Cox. Romance? I have no time for such rubbish. Rubbish! I use Booth like I use everyone else. Tell me about the man you and Booth killed. Oh, I failed a hint. The bastard killed one of us and received retribution. There's nothing else to say. What happened exactly? I don't know and I don't care. One I have a bit of a hard time like differentiating when I have to so like no pick one really of three happened. and only one is right or when I have to just anyway. go no through all of them. The all the stuff you have to say. This is our okay, territory and this is our law. This is our law. And your conscience is clear. You kill hey, Era. hesitation. Violence is an efficient tool, Dr. Reed. When used properly. So you decide who lives and who dies, just like that. Yes, Doctor. Just like that. I'm not saying it's fair. I'm saying it's my way of dealing with troublemakers. Okay. Goodbye, Miss. She has a shop. Hmm. Hey, Harold. Thank you. Double digits. Up, Thank you, Harold. Where should I go? Let's go up here. So much to explore. Okay, now I'm at the end of the... This is probably the district's exit. Yeah, this is Faubourg. And I'm immediately fighting. Let's not. Let's go back. Let's stay in the docks for now. There's enough to check out here. Southwark Bridge. So this is another... Oh, this is part of the docks though. Yeah. Oh, the other one might have been part of the docks too. Maybe I missed that. It was pretty tiny, the text. This is dark. Can't see shit. I wonder if we can find anyone here. 
And what was the one dude with the headache again? He had like, I need to mesmerize level 3 or something? Oh, I've been here before. Hey. Oh, did I wake up in Southwark and then I... This is like the beginning of the game. I passed by here. Man, it's been such a long time ago. I hardly remember. Is this also part of the docks though? Oh, loading. <laughs> There you go. I'm I'm waiting for like that bit where I walk into a new section for it to tell me where I am. Upcast, thank you. The last was. Have you guys been noticing that I that I put a different movie name up for every stream? <laughs> this is also the docks. Okay. Yeah, this is where I came Oh. Hi guys. Hmm. So, um... Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Study. Ooh, Jesus. Ooh, Jesus. Drink, quick. Get some heals. Jesus. Okay, there you go. He's dead. go. Oh, he has a lot of blood resistance, though. There we go. Okay. There we go. Got their stuff. Let's have a look around. Did you see the Life is Strange achievement for this game? Oh, I never checked achievements. What was it? Is it a spoiler for the game though? Because I haven't finished Life is Strange. Hmm. Guess this is a safe house. I'm just wondering if there are people here. Like people I can talk to, not just fight. I'm not sure, but... Should we go back? Oh, it's a new hideout. Well, I'm getting a lot of stuff, that's for sure. Just for reference, fun. I wish I could drop down on him. But I can't. There's no... There's no move for that. Oh, 
Oh, hey, dude. Steady boy. He's a big guy. Ooh, I was lucky there. He was about to make me a shish kebab. Oh, I was trying to bite him. There we go. There we go. Ah, I need to recover my stamina. Give me your blood. Oh, thank ya. Okay. Oh no! Sorry, rat. I didn't mean to. I trying to grab that. Okay, let's quickly just make a circle here. Just make a round and then... Uh, we'll be done here. Just gotta make sure there's no one around that's like... Is this another safe house? Oh, this is the one I was in. This is like the first one I was in. I think. No. It's but I made a shortcut, I guess. <laughs> that delayed fall. Yeah, this was the one I was in. I think. Okay, where did I come from? Go down. Hello! Anyone I can talk to here? Well, even if there isn't anyone here, at least we get a lot of stuff out of it. Can I unlock this? That was already open. Okay. It's pretty cool, actually. We're going back to where we died. Or woke up from the dead, I guess? It was somewhere here, I think. Oh, hey! Didn't see you there. Just go. Oh, that's a big dude. Oh, I couldn't stun him. There we go. Better finish this fucker off because he's a big boy. There we go. I have more reach. Don't underestimate my reach. Yeah. There we go. Sad Saint of East End. Find Sean Hampton at East End Docks. Wait. That was already there. I thought that just appeared. I did do something. What did I just find? Plain steel key designed to open a greater door. Maybe? Oh. Special dudes. Better go crush the leech, boys. <laughs> Hold on, you can't hit me. I'm biting. Pretty busy right now. I'll send you back in the morning grave. Keep your eyes on it. There 
you go. I couldn't couldn't get out of the way. Stuck behind the bucket. Ooh! Oh look at that! Damn, that sucked. He can try, but I'm gonna drink you. There we go. Still dead. That was pretty cool. Cool that stun that he had. Okay, so we haven't been here yet, right? Game seems like an Anne Rice book. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, I haven't read them, but I've seen that interview with the vampire. Where's the stat? <laughs> um, keep finding stuff without actually doing anything. There we go. No! Got fucked. That hurt, man. Your aim sucks. Okay. What do we got? Door's been unlocked. So did I have the key for this? I wonder if I'm doing like some kind of quest that I just haven't unlocked yet. Get more cake? Oh, what kind of cake? Wait, am I back now? Yeah, I'm going back. So I just unlocked a way back, I guess. Taking your waiting for pizza? Ah. Uh. Okay, so if I check out the end here, we pretty much went all the way to the end. And we're done. There might be a quest item thing here later, but looks like this is about it. Yeah. I don't think there's more to do here. Looks like that's it. Unless I go here? This might be it. Yeah, this is like where we learned how to melee and stuff. We're like going all the way back to the beginning area. Hey, Kiko! Yeah, pizza would be great. Maybe I should make pizza tonight. Might perk up Pika too. Okay, now we're truly getting to like the last bit. Anyone know if there's a f fast travel option yet? <laughs> My favorite, I think, is uh, mushroom or pepperoni. This place. Rain may have washed away the blood, but not the memory. My poor Mary. Guess there was some something to say in coming back. 
Hello, boys, about your last message concerning your mission to loot corpses in Southwark. I'll only say it once, deal with it, and be glad I don't report your protest suit, Weena. She might go there herself to cut your balls off. A little bird also told me you made a few jokes about what I saw by the pier, so now I'm just a loony scared by his own shadow, or a nutcase who mumbles and trembles like an old woman about ghost stories. Good. I like it when my boys are happy. Be sure that nutcase will come to piss on your bloody carcass carcasses after the fucking monster I saw sucked your brains out. Enjoy the following nights, fellows. I heard there will be foggy and rainy. This is my watch. That's the so grave robbers. Oh, I found my, uh... Okay, this is the one I read. Okay. Found my watch again. Nice. So they picked it off of me as I was lying here dead, but not really dead. Finding so much stuff. That warning note might have might be used for something though. I think I got like a hint. I didn't notice it at the time, but I like how he says damn grave robbers and I'm just here picking off all of the stuff. Can I go down there? Doesn't look like I can. Oh maybe I can. At the back there. No, I can't. Aww. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess that was it. We're back in the beginning. Found some useful stuff. Got my watch back. Guess that's nice. Who killed them, though? Did I do that? And just leave them here? NPCs selling weapons, maybe you can buy something even better. Um, so far, I've only found them selling like ingredients for stuff. They don't really sell big stuff. Maybe Edwina does though. She's pretty tough. I can see her selling some shit. Well. I think that was it. Oh, and now we're back here. Oh, that's easy. Nice. Okay. So, no people, but we did get some stuff. Okay, for me. I hear a train. Let's go over the bridge and go back. It's only just begun. We're not even an hour in. Recording only half an hour, so we still have a pretty decent two and a half hours to go. I'd say. That's- I want to at least release these videos for YouTube as well in chunks of three hours. I think that's like, good chunks. Why am I fighting? Oh, okay. You wanted to fight the rats? Okay, now we're back here. So let's check to the left here. I bet there's someone standing around here. Or not. So if I'm like halfway through the game, I'd say like two more streams might do it. Depending on like if it's actually paced the same, of course. I don't know if it's gonna be the same. 
as Whitechapel. Western docks. It's fighter dudes here. Seems like the guard of Freeman is on Ooh. Sean Hampton's guy. Let's go for the small one first then. Ooh! Flamethrower, huh? Oh god, don't put me on fire. Don't do it. I don't like being on fire, don't! Oh god, yeah, okay, he just calls new ones. We have to just take him down. There we go. I will suck. Ooh, 250. Super weak against it. If only they could set each other on fire. No, no, no. Oh god. Does he just, does he just keep calling new people? Drink him. Do the damage. There we go. And scratch him. Gotta scratch more. Yeah. Don't put me on fire. No. Jesus, so hard to get there. At least I have the scratch ability. Ah. No! Don't! Nah. My scratch ability is off. Okay, I hit him twice. That's good. Oh, yes! Do the damage! Yeah, got him. Okay. There we go. Gotta restock up on blood. It was pretty tough. Do you have anything? No? Okay. The wounds on this corpse are deep. The result of rabid rage. Yeesh. If this is Sean's doing, taken, thank you. A murderous beast. Okay. I didn't have a package on him. Let's do that. Okay. See if there's anything else here. Lower Thames Banks. Not much to see here, though. Someone's eating over there. It's too fucking fast. <laughs> too fucking fast. Tired. What happens if I drink from them? If they're like lesser vampires, isn't it really bad for a vampire to drink from a vampire?
Guess not for this game, maybe. Ooh. Oh god, that really hurt. Okay. Oh, that do have something. This poor man has just been slaughtered by a vampire. The body's still warm. They're fighting back there. Let the fighting just go on and then we'll just finish off anyone who who is alive by the end. I'm so sneaky. God, this place is huge. Haha! -ha! Can't catch me, I'm drinking. Eat the gases. I'll send you to hell. There you go. I need more blood. I need to restock. There you go. Now let's get all of their stuff. They didn't have any stuff. Maybe it was because I didn't kill them? I don't know if that's a thing. Oh! I zoomed! Unfair. This give me just blood, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't know. Night read. See you later. Okay. So, that was this end. Oh, money. So many people I need to fight here. Do you think maybe that's why my eyes are red? Because I've just been fighting everyone. <laughs> oh, whoops, my bad. Accidentally pressed L2. Oh, can't go up there. I guess I'm doing things out of order. I think I should just hang around in the main part longer. The the stuff in the bottom right. And then um let's go back there. I think I just need to hang around there more, get all the quests and the quests will probably send me out here. Oh, this is locked. It's locked all right. It's locked all right. Did you kill any of the NPC? Uh, I killed one, dude. Yeah, I killed the one that was, like, extorting immigrants. Is this an area with fighting people or talking people? Uh, it looks like talking. Hmm. 
Good Who are evening. you? I'm Dr. Reed. Do you need any help? Rest assured, I will help you, sir. Martin Nightingale, at your service. Please, take a look at my wares. <laughs> your merchandise. I don't really see anything worth having. No offense. None taken, sir. But please, I need to eat. Perhaps if you keep looking, you'd see something that takes your fancy. Aww. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? He's a caretaker for the poor, is he not? Something like that. Yes. Uh, Sorry, Pikachu. Hey, Pikachu, he by the way. Long time no see. The Shadow Veil vale runs out if with your stamina. So just depending on how much stamina you have, it takes longer. Let me be frank. You're as much of a businessman as I am a werewolf, right? Who the hell are you to question me? It's hard enough to stay clean when you don't have a place to sleep. I'm doing my best here. I meant no offense, Mr. Nightingale. I was merely pointing out the fact that you're unlikely to survive long if you continue wandering this path. And what should I do then, sir? Should I join the wet boot boys like so many others? No thanks. I'd rather be a wet bad boot boys. than a dead gang member. Uh, that's a very right. What can you tell me about the neighborhood? Have you got any friends around these parts? Not really. Hey, Sasha. Miss Gillingham smiles and says, I'm words, a werewolf too. Yeah, I'm both. She's lost her marbles, <laughs> especially since her son died. Also, I get to catch up with Vampire Series I binged watched yesterday. Oh, Pikachu, thank you. Tell me about this crazy woman. Madness is often mistaken for other conditions. The poor woman's mad, all right. Kind and all, but. Hey, Nazo. She has so much trouble remembering things. She's taken me for a son more than once. How interesting. Enid. We haven't you know talked to her yet. To her son. Jack. Rumor has it he tried to tackle some gang lads. I didn't Kenshin, know him well, thank you. I heard he was a nice enough chap. His old ma still thinks he's around. I do, Sasha, yeah. I have a YouTube channel. All the streams basically go there. Except there's some. The only. Oh, Kenshin, thank you. Uh, the only exceptions are like Overwatch streams. I did a Final Fantasy XIV stream here and there. Stuff like that doesn't go to YouTube. Why not try seeking help instead of peddling your wares? I'm sure there are people around here that would gladly help. There's always the night asylum. I heard it's run by a very nice man, but I'm no beggar. But not yet, at least. There is no shame in asking for help, my boy. Sometimes it can even be the best course of action. I don't feel okay with that. I'm gonna make a name for myself, and I'll do it by myself. Um, I think that's Goodbye. good. I know I've got something that'll strike your fancy. If not, I'll find you something. Jojo, thank you. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan. Is that Reed. Enid? May I come in? I already took my medication, doctor. Uh, but thank you. I'm sorry. Your medication? Have we met before? Don't tease me like that, Jack. Sorry, what? Jack? I think I should come in, miss. I'd like to check if everything is okay, what with the epidemic. So, Gam, thank you. Ah, Gam, new say. boss, thank How you. Terrible. I had no idea. But where are my manners? Please do come in, doctor. She is tiny compared to that door. You are a doctor, yes? Enid Gillingham's. So, Dr. Tippett's. <laughs> what brings you Dr. Back Tippett's. Here? I heard whispers you had a job at that oh. fancy hospital. I told you my name is Jonathan Reed. She thinks Don't I'm Tippett's. Remember? Of course I do. I remember my name too. Gillingham. But you may call me Enid, Doctor. I'm very happy to see you again. I'm looking for a Sean Hampton. Do you know where I might find him? Sean Enid is a weird name and I kind of like it. It's a little bit old, I guess, but I like it too, yeah. I cannot recall from where. Is anyone taking care of you, Miss Gillingham? My son is always here to take care of me. He's a good boy like that, but I do worry that he needs to start living his own life. I would never say that to him, of course. Why not? Can you tell me about this part of town? Oh, no. I don't gossip. 
That would be most unbecoming of a lady such as myself. <laughs> Who are the more influential figures on the docks? Well, I heard about some terrible illness going around. I would say in that case that it's you, Dr. Tippett. Goodbye, Miss Jillian. She has a headache. I might have a cure for that, actually. So, Dr. Not Tippett. sure. What brings you back here? We haven't talked in quite some time. Do you require medical attention, miss? I'm glad you asked, Dr. Tippett. I must confess I haven't felt that well of late. I'll try nice. my best. Here, take this. And please, try to get some rest. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you very much. Goodbye, Mr. Okay. Good. Treated the nice lady who doesn't gossip. Now let's take all our stuff. <laughs> it's payment for the headache medicine. It's locked. Hmm. I wonder if you get the key to that only if you like kill them or something. That might be like the payoff. She doesn't have an upstairs. Rodney, I just heard what happened tonight. I ran to your house, but you were already gone, so now I'm writing this note. Is it true that you killed him? I can't believe it. Why? What happened? really need to talk to you now. Please, find a way to contact me when you receive this message. Since I know you can be very cautious and to prove to you that this is not a trap, let's use a code when we meet. I'll whistle my name, Jack, in Morse code, and you'll whistle yours, okay? This way you'll know it's really me, for now it's a good thing you're hiding. The Wetwood boys are all over the neighborhood claiming they will punish the man who murdered one of them. I'm sure we could make an arrangement to settle things once the heat dies down. That's a good hint. Is he okay? He's healthy. Okay, good. Let's see. Who else can we find here? What's this? Is he talking to me? Are you sure you're not lost, sir? Some kind of bar? Yeah. Oh. Old blood, though. Mela! Hey! Thank you for the 10 months! Thank you, good to see you. How have you been, Mela? Double digits! Close to that year. Close to silver. There she is. Oh, that's a ghoul. I was about to talk to him, but... Night shelter. Pizza! What is it? What kind of pizza is it taken? I hope you enjoy it. Are you certain you're not lost, sir? You seem quite strange with the pizza crust. She might have fell from four again. Hell yeah. I kinda uh I kinda feel like uh if I do the patch, people will understand more of it during the stream. But at the same time, like the patch has mistakes in it, and I would hate that. Plus, my translation is just better. Because they, I wish they would just implement my translation into the game. Okay, looks like that's it. Chicago thin. That doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh. Okay, let's back it up. Take a right. I feel like someone would be sitting here. Maybe later. Let's 
this a fireplace? What the fuck? Okay. Regular pizza, but it's thin. Chicago is known for deep dish. By comparison, this is normal. Hmm. I know deep dish, yeah. I really like deep dish. Unlocked! Nice. Okay, it's the way back. Mm, we should check that one corner, though, before we head back. Ego, thank you. Did Mela respond? I didn't see it. Oh. Oh god, no. Oh hey dude, didn't see you there. He did. Okay, let's go back. Talk to the man hiding in the sewers. That's pretty cool. With our whistle. This is where I... No, this is not... Oh, it's a werewolf. Oh, I didn't want to do that, but it's fine. Level 22. He's pretty strong. Maybe tomorrow I can take him. <laughs> After a good night's rest. Are they still fighting? Sounds quiet. Sounds like the werewolf maybe won. Oh, he's still going. Should we try? Oh god. Oh god. No, oh, I guess we are trying. How much damage do I do? I'm tired. I'm tired. Oh god. He does a lot more damage than I do. That was a lot of health, holy fuck. Should drink some more. Oh god. Uh, no! Oh god, I'm dead. Fuck. So strong. Uh, I have to go back to work on Tuesday. At least you get Monday off. Is it boring work? Yeah, it was. He's too high level for me. Oh, Utopia! You're playing it too. Yeah. We should just go back and talk to some more people. I just got a little bit distracted. I've been out since February because of injury. Oh, I see. Damn, that's a long time. Glad you're feeling better though. Okay. 
So, let's back it up. This is where I went. And it's where I'm supposed to go. Just not to the left, I think. That's where the werewolf is fighting. I should just go straight. Here we go. Now let's find some more people. I got way too distracted. <laughs> it just went everywhere. Oh look, there's a train! <gasps> we can see it! That's awesome. Oh, there's two! That's really cool. No one here. Ain't nothing gonna keep me down. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, what's this? Mark my words, miss. These murders are the work of a vampire. A Not vampire? a drop of blood left in his body. This is the work of a vampire. I'm a trapper. A vampire hunter. Oh, you know. Must be off to your hunting then, for if the sewer dog is back and hunting all these poor folk. He needs Sabrina, was, didn't she work at the sewer bar? What's it look like? It's an old story. A monster with daggers for teeth and icy claws. He comes of a sudden, night time, claiming innocence, then vanishes. Teeth, claws, murders by night. Your sewer dog is my business. He's the kind of prey I hunt, milady. So many people I want to talk to. Evening, miss. Well, I never. That's a first. Customers who make that much mess rarely come back. Never mind in fancy togs. I'm much more myself. Oh, yeah. When she saw me, I was like wearing a bloody way, shirt I'm and everything. Jonathan, Dr. Jonathan Reed. Welcome back to the turquoise turtle, then, Doctor. I'm Sabrina Cavendish. How can I help you? Miss Cavendish, would you be willing to help me locate Sean Hampton? You better ask Tom, sir. Why not answer me directly? <laughs> yeah, we only snack on bad people that we sir. heal and then kill, because we're gentlemen. What can you tell me about this area? People don't appreciate that line of questioning round here. You best be more careful with what you say, sir. You look concerned, Miss Cavendish. This is a bad borough. Most people I know are afraid. Most locals will rob you blind, or worse. You best mind your step. Okay. If you're uncertain about your safety here, the docks might not be the right place for you. I got responsibilities. And it's not like I've got the money to move anywhere else anyway. This place seems, how shall I put it, very colorful. I'm sure it has plenty of stories to tell. We get people of all sorts here. It's that rare place in the docks where you can have a drink without being murdered. At least it's not happened yet. So this bar is neutral territory then? Yeah. Interesting. Tom's convinced this is something the locals need. No one ever draws a weapon here. That's one of the reasons I accepted the job. Sounds good. Your boss must be quite the negotiator to force such an agreement. Yeah. Tom's a great bloke. Mr. Hampton, who runs the night asylum, he's the only other man that's able to keep peace around here. Excuse my curiosity, but where exactly are you from, Miss Cavendish? Something bothering you? What, my name? Or my complexion? Believe me, I never judge someone on their place of birth or the color of their skin. If that's true, you'd be one of the few not to make fun of me. Just you, Tom, Dyson, Miss Fishburne, and of course, Mr. Hampton. I'm sorry if I worried you. I was just curious to find out if you know this part of town well. Knows he? My dad was a sailor from my dad. Bombay, and my mum was a maid born up in Glasgow. They got married in London, and here I am. <laughs> Goodbye, Miss Cavendish. Oh, I forgot to do her checkup. Is she okay? Oh, she's healthy. 
Good evening, sir. Have you witnessed any suspicious activity? Talking to a vampire hunter. <laughs> and what do you define as a strange <laughs> event? More to the point, who are you? My name is Ichabod Throgmorton. Throgmorton. Vampire hunter extraordinaire. Damn, dude. Warden of the East End. A vampire hunter? Really? <laughs> oh my god. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I'm just another lunatic howling <laughs> He's standing in front of me with the red eyes. <laughs> Bloodsuckers exist. And they're close. <laughs> Mr. Throgmorton, I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'd like to hear more about these vampires you're hunting. Uh, this is the best. Well, I'll be glad to enlighten you. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me, Mr. Throgmorton? The sad saint? Sad saint. He should saint. be at his night asylum at this hour. But I cannot tell you how to find it, sorry. Really? Ichabod? You Why like that? that? Mm. It's nothing personal, Doctor. I'm sure your intentions are good, but people who sleep there... I'm so scary, yeah. I look pretty badass. <laughs> I could make you tell me, but I respect your refusal. You really I could make Sean you, is but... a saint, don't you? All I will say is this. Gossip has it that when he was a child, he was molested by a priest of all people. That's nothing Funny new. Funny thing is, though, it only strengthened his faith. Maybe at least you can tell me who could help me find him. I'll tell you what. Go and chat with Tom Watts. Watts. He's a bartender and good job. Oh, yeah. Character. You know him. If he talks to you, then it's fine by me. Okay. That was life in London? No. What can you tell me about this neighborhood? Did you hear about what happened to Jack Gillingham? Oh, boy. Oh. It's a shame I wasn't around. Wait. To protect him. He's dead? It's impossible to protect everyone. Enid's son? The violence seems endemic. She's like, he'll be back soon, right? But it's my duty. I am convinced Jack Gillingham was killed by a vampire. These evil rodents are spreading like a plague. Hmm. So, how exactly are you protecting these people? I'm curious. I patrol late at night, investigating anything unusual. I try and encourage people to stay indoors, but... People are careless. Um, the eyes, I think, are not fixable, no. Can I help in any way? Actually, yes. <laughs> I plan to put up posters to alert the population <laughs> to the vampire threat. Are you asking this is funny. me to paste posters about vampires around the docks? If you wouldn't mind. If you did that, then I can focus on my patrol. I think I'm smiling. I think I'm very amused by this. <laughs> How do you identify a vampire? It's simple, really. They can't stand daylight. They're afraid of garlic and holy symbols. And they also cannot enter a house without being invited. He's not wrong, you ever except with the garlic. One of these creatures, yourself, I mean. Of, of course, I have. What, what kind of question is that? It's a dirty business, believe me. Do you need my medical attention, sir? I appreciate your concern, but I'm perfectly fine. Thank you. Okay, that was about it, I think. Oh. Have you heard of the Guard of Prewen? Of course. They're dedicated hunters. A little militant for my taste. I would be so amused if I were a vampire join? talking to this dude. And he's like, I could spot a vampire a mile away. <laughs> so you hunt alone? That sounds risky. Vampires are just like every other predator. They hunt when they're hungry and follow certain patterns. It's just a matter of observation and patience. <laughs> hmm? Were you ever tempted to join the guard yourself? I did think about it, but I'm more of a silent hunter. They're God, I look so cool. Militia. I love this outfit. Just a hat. I wish I had a different hat. Goodbye. And good hunting. <laughs> good hunting. <laughs> good luck. See you never. Good evening, sir. Whatever. Don't you recognize me? Yeah, didn't I we met a few talk to ago? him before? I, personally. I, spent a lot of energy I found him at the bar, Tom's. The yes, frog. You had definitely drunk too much then as well. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm Dyson Delaney. I'll try to remember you this time. I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? I really don't know. 
I heard he'd been abducted. I don't know if he's back. Who could tell me then? About the sad sign. I hope I get a different kind of coat. I don't know if I can change outfits. If I could, I would definitely go do it. What do you do for a living, Mr. Delaney? I drink. I drink in the morning and at noon. I drink at night. And then I drink some more. Why do you drink so much? Maybe it's because I prefer dying slowly. Death can be so abrupt. Personally, I like to see mine coming at my own pace. Mm. You sound very sad, sir. That's because I am, Doc. Don't you work at all? I Can't change out I don't have outfits? The time. Okay. Didn't I tell you? Drink I thought I remembered him noon, in a different coat, but... Pizza was delicious. Yay! Is there anything in particular that you like about this part of town? Except for the cheap drinks, I mean. How dare you say such a thing? I love this neighborhood. So friendly. So joyful. No reason at all to rejoice, then. Life is hopeless and then we die, is that it? Let me tell you a story. All right. Go on. Don't stab me. Years ago, when I believed Let me tell you a story. <laughs> things around here for good. A tragedy occurred nearby. What kind of tragedy? It was a bomb. Good night, Otter. Bomb that exploded and killed many people. Metal and blood everywhere. Shouts. Fire. Broken window of the shoe shop. The torn street light. You lost people you loved that day, didn't you? I've lost everything. But you know what the worst part is? I don't even remember where it happened. I've drunk so much to forget it. And now I can't remember where it was. I can't pay my homage to the dead. I'm sorry, Mr. Delaney. It's okay. If you have Good night, Era. Place, just leave a flower for me there. Even if you tell me where it is, I'm not sure I'd memorize it. Is there anything in particular that you like about this part of town? Except for the I wonder if drinks. finishing up How investigations also that? improves the neighborhood. I love this Do you think? So friendly, so joyful. Kenshin, see you later. Hey, Muppet! Long time no see. Why are you so cynical? Cynicism is the polite way to express despair, Doctor. <laughs> no reason at all. Let me tell Okay. Another time, perhaps. I'm not sure I want to hear another sad story. Surely you must have had dreams and expectations when you were young, like everybody else. Sure. I wanted things to change. To really Hey, Taryn. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Good. The bigger the dream, the harder the fall. Sounds like you were an idealist, which is honorable. No, sir. I was an anarchist, and I believe that exclusive property is a robbery in nature. I wanted a new world to rise from the ashes, Dr. Reed. Hmm. Do you really think the world is that bad? No, I believe we all can choose to make it Dyson, better. Dyson, a powerful name. Isn't that the vacuum weak, brand? Too corrupt and too guilty. I failed for sure, but others will come. I want to know more about your past as an anarchist, Dyson. I'm still an anarchist, Doctor. Make no mistake. I just reject violence as a it tool is, yeah. <laughs> to change the world, unlike my comrades. Do you still see your comrades, then? Even if you don't agree with them. Hey, Drippy. I'd say no. the action is much better in Mass Effect. The, the old trilogy, view, not the idea. not Andromeda. Andromeda I'll doesn't exist. So that splendid idea. Do you believe in a bloodless? But there's revolution? much more talking in I this one. In much much more talking. But Much admit, more dialogue, like less fighting. Change. Fighting is a little bit like clunky. It it's cool though, but okay. Goodbye, Mr. Delaney. Um, think he needs something? Fatigue. I don't know if I have that on me. I think I made one. Um, let's see. I have one. Yeah, let's treat him. <laughs> He's just walking into the wall. Did you see that? <laughs> ah, you're a doctor. Inebriation aside, 
Do you need inebriation aside? <laughs> I feel sicker than usual these days. Take this then. And perhaps you could try to slow down the alcohol. Yeah, I like Mass Effect 3, but hey, the ending I don't like. Really no, I don't agree with the ending. Any of the endings. Goodbye, Mr. Delaney. Okay, cool. We met some people. Let's see the progress. Okay, we're still missing a lot. He's recovering. She's recovering. We're doing well. Vampire Hunter is there. This is back to the docks. Oh. Unknown. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Why must it always be I think Andromeda had such bad publicity, like I haven't even played it, but I'm it was so bad I that some if I think that might have kneecapped the franchise entirely. And the name is Seymour Fishburne, if you must know. Any chance you can help me find Sean Hampton? The sad saint. Well, I can I'm okay with some actually. of the stuff in the Mass Effect ending, but really? We'll go Not what happens then. with the main character, sure, I guess, Tom without Watts spoiling it too much. I guess by now everyone played it, but. What can you tell me about this part of town? A shithole filled with maggots. Liars and thieves, all of them. Are you thinking about someone? I've been thinking about replaying the Mass Effect trilogy. I would love to go Especially through them on stream, but. I, no I'm kind of hoping they well, release like a Tom HD Tom remake at some point, so we'll see. At least unlike most maggots, he knows how to listen without opening his trap. I feel like EA would do that. It's like an easy way to make more money, right? What's your occupation? I take care of my mum. That's what I do. She's the only good thing in my life. Even though I don't treat her so good. Do you seem upset? Is something bothering you? I lost the necklace I bought her. I'm a fucking idiot. A worthless idiot. Sometimes it's hard to be a good son. I just wanted to smile. Yeah, I feel like no, I a remake of the trilogy, Mass Effect trilogy, will eventually happen because no, the games were so successful. Do you require medical assistance? <laughs> That's something I didn't expect to hear again. A doctor concerned with the health of his patients. Yeah. I could use some help several matters in fact damn treatment for cold okay i will see you later goodbye mr fishburn okay we got to get him a cold medicine let's try and memorize where he is okay so he's close to the bridge this area isn't too big you think it's not too hard to find everyone i guess i can also be here although no I've been just doing a lot of fighting there. Is this the hospital? No, that's the hospital. Yeah, so we usually take this bridge. Where could they be? Maybe straight? Definitely been here. Yeah, I've definitely been here. Okay. There's a box down there, though. <clears throat> Hideout unlocked. Nice. Make a cold medicine. And a fatigue one, too, because we always need those. Okay. No leveling up, because otherwise people get sicker. Nothing there. Okay. Now, who am I hearing talking here? Oh, it's uh, Edwina. I'm such a nice doctor. Dude's like, I have a cold, sir. And I'm just like, hold on. Five minutes, I'm back. Here you go. Good evening, Mr. Fishman. Yeah, yeah. Do you require medical assistance? <laughs> That's something. I don't know which kind of doctor you're used to dealing with. 
Oh, well, you can see my knee in the screen. <laughs> and is it your purpose as well, Mr. Reed? I would say it's a convenient way for gaining people's trust. Oh, yes. Goodbye, Mr. Fishburne. Okay. Talk to the man hiding in the sewers. I wonder where he is. That was a red. torn off page of a diary. Didn't expect to find that in there. For looking away when I when they mock my color, I hate myself. For crying like a girl when they insult me, I hate myself. For swearing like a boy when they're gone, I hate myself. For hating my parents, I hate myself. For smiling when customers call me sad Rena, I hate myself. For never finding the courage to tell Tom how I truly feel, I hate myself. <gasps> Tom. Wait, yeah, Tom, we need to go to the bar. That's fucking where all of them are. Here we go. Something can be done to get out of this bullshit mess. I have a hint for you. You still working at this hour? I just found a letter. That's what I call dedication. Sabrina, tell me about your true feelings for your boss. I love Tom. I'm not ashamed of it. Ah. Don't care if the customers joke about it neither. Does Tom love you? Yeah, but he's always reluctant to take it further. It's not because I'm younger, or because of the colour of my skin. He hates jokes about us. Who's mocking you? I mean, we're always together. People will talk, won't they? Hmm. That sucks. Goodbye, Miss Cavendish. Okay, let's talk to Tom. I don't think I have him on my map thing yet. Good evening, Tom. Good evening, sir. <laughs> I'm drinking milk. How are you tonight? <laughs> Back to the docks, are we? You remember me, then? Of course I do. You're that man who seemed so lost when he entered my bar a few nights ago. Yeah. Thank you for your hospitality. I'm doing so well now. I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Uh, I'm still Tom Watts. <laughs> and I'm still doctor. Tom Watts. <laughs> That's great. Tom, I need to find Sean Hampton as quickly as possible. I've been told you could help me. I heard the sad saint was recovering at Pembroke Hospital. Did he leave or something? The important thing is I find him. Quickly. Uh, why not try his night asylum? He takes care of those who need a meal or a roof there. Where is it? It's in an old warehouse, northwest of here. Just follow the bank to the west and go north when you reach the end of the pier. Okay. I believe he returned to his flock. Can you flock. confirm that? Oh, I bet you're right. Sean can't help but worry about the poor and sick. I guess it has something to do with what happened to him as a baby. Please, oh? tell me. Yeah. Well, I don't like to gossip, but I heard that the sad saint was abandoned as a baby in front of a Catholic orphanage in Dublin. It would explain his faith and need to help everyone. Hmm. What can you tell me about this part of town? Well, it's not that bad. Thanks to people like the sad saint at the East End. Beer in a carton. <laughs> our own private holy <laughs> That would be crazy. If you are foolish enough to make peace with the gangs. Isn't it like a Sean universal thing that beer or milk is always like in a white and blue thing? Or it's like fresh colors? How is it you can keep this place open? This part of town doesn't seem particularly safe. Well, since everybody needs a drink, my pub is considered neutral ground by most groups. Since I'm here, is there anything I can do? Well, perhaps, Doctor. Peace partly depends on my stock of gin. Uh, with the epidemic, my supplies are I wonder what kind of tattoo he has. It looks like a dream catcher or something. warehouse just past the quarantine line. Perhaps I wonder why they added doctor, that detail. I wonder if there's some Doctors story aren't involved. Immune to disease, you know. Very well. Show me where it is. I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you, sir. Hey, Jaded. Here's the key to get in. You're about to save many dry throats. I see. Warehouse key. Okay. So you get pressure from We're getting a bunch of investigations. I think we can like do a like full that. stream for just the docks. A few wise words <laughs> and a bottle of gin can't solve. You're something of a figurehead around here. 
I'm only pouring alcohol for everyone to forget their troubles. Sean Hampton is the one giving them long-term hope. Why does your waitress feel in danger working on the docks? This part of town is dangerous for all, but for women it's worse, as always. Sabrina is a brave girl. Can't see compass? Can't Maybe, yeah. Do Could be a compass too. Good reason to feel this way. Was he a sailor Are back you not in the day? About her safety? Of course I am. The truth is, she's tougher than me deep inside. She just has to learn to control it. Do you need any help? I'm all right, Doctor Reed. Okay. Goodbye, Mister Watts. Yeah, he's healthy. Recovering. Healthy. Let's check upstairs. Maybe there's someone upstairs. Someone's talking. This is where you met the dude, Dr. Swansea. I guess I must have heard Sabrina. Why is there no one here? I want to find more. Oh, safe. Nice. Five whole shillings. Let's see where this goes. I cannot enter. Hmm. Oh, just goes back here. Went to a circle. I think I can check that room behind him. Yes, I can. Hmm. It's very tiny. Okay. Let's see. Um. We met Fishburn. We haven't seen him yet, but he's healthy, apparently. 6,000 XP! Dude, you're so delicious! We haven't found him yet. We know of him, but we need to go to the sewers. Let's see. What's the one I have currently mapped? This one. No. Yeah, I do. Oh yeah, we gotta go into their house. I wanna do that too. We have to go grab the letter of uh, Mortimer Goswick. Um, convince her to go to the go back to Whitechapel. We should track that later. Okay, let's first um, let's do the sewer one. Yeah, that one seems exciting. We have to meet him anyway. Let's see, there. Let's hope it's not past that vampire, uh, werewolf. I mean, that kicked my butt. Because I don't want to level yet. I don't want to go to sleep. I hope I can jump across. Yes. Oh, oh, so yeah. I It was like getting a little bit laggy. I was like, I think it needs to load soon. Okay. Yeah, Jesus. No, don't come after me. Fuck. Fight with the dudes. Bye. <laughs> okay, there's dudes here. Fuck, I forgot the cooldown is so fucking long. Should I just fight him? Level 19. I have to be on the other end, I think. Ah, oh, it's like here. I haven't even been there yet. I don't know if I can get there. Burn it, boys! I'm trying to claw him, but I can't. Why is my claw ability not working? Oh, does it use blood powers? Oh, I didn't realize until now. Oh. oh god. 
That hurt. Ouch! Dude. Rude. I'm standing there. How do I get up there? I've been here before, haven't I? Oh, there. I bet I can go up there. No? Me? Oh, there's just a staircase there. Does he not know I'm here? Oh, he does. Um, okay. Yeah, I've been here before. That's weird. Oh god. It's locked ah! and white. Oh, here's the asylum. Ah, shit. I have to be here, and then I can get there. I have to go all the way back. Oh, safe house. Oh, I've had I had this one already. Hmm. Never mind then. This way. No. Oh, now I can do it. Hmm. Oh, was that a dude standing there? Oh well. I bet that werewolf's still alive. Oh, no. They killed him? Oh no, they're just not attacking each other. Hmm. Okay. Now I have to go here. Let's do it. Aw, oh, Mero, thank you. Fuck. Oh, they didn't see me. These dudes are gonna suck. No, I'm gonna suck. <laughs> ah, fuck. Damn, so cool. Motherfucker. I know that horribly unfair move. Oh, Jesus! Well, I'll let you fight that out. Have fun. <laughs> Just wait it out. Where's this gate go to? Is it open? Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Fucked. Okay. Got everything. 
Now I think I can get there through here. Let me check though. I don't think I've been here yet. Yeah. So we need to check all the things. Hey, Jawachi! God, where does all this go? This place is so confusing. But I did get the hang of Whitechapel after a while, so... Oh! Is this, uh... No. Let's just go back. And continue down the street. Okay. We're getting there. There's another... There's a couple dudes back there. Look at his glowy eyes. Best be moving up as one of them. Oh! He looks through my thing! He saw me! Oh, he's so... Oh, he's following me. Fuck. I need to drink. God damn it! C fuck! Fuck! Let me leave me. We cannot be defeated. So be careful of that. Yes. Give me that blood. Oof, oof, oof. Okay. Oh, drink him, drink him. Yes. Okay. They're a bit tough. Watch out. Murderous Yes. There we go. Give me your blood. I need more of it. Ouch. Oh, I'm full on blood now. Yay! Okay. Do they have to collect more stuff? Yes. And he just gave up. Okay, dude. Guard of Priven notes. Vampire Hunter Fraud Avoid. Some of our scouts recently spotted the presence of a certain Ichabod Throckmorton near the East End docks. You'll probably see him patrolling the place at night, claiming that he's a specialist of vampire extermination. Man is a fraud, not even a real con man, for he does not charge anybody for his work, but he clearly has no clue what he's talking about. If he ever approaches you for some joint hunt or collaboration, refuse and let him go. In a leech fight, the man is nothing more than bait. <laughs> Sounds accurate. <laughs> He's cute. He tries. Okay, definitely getting closer. Can I go through here? No. How do I get closer to him? Is he just in an area that I can't get to yet? Is that why it's like blue? You think? There must be a way to get there though. Maybe on the water edge we can enter, enter the sewers maybe? No, there's nothing here. There must be a way to enter the sewers. Can I go up there? Can't when I'm fighting? I 
hate how I like zoom away, but he still hits me. I wonder how to do that. Maybe it's just an enter an area for way later. I don't know. I tried. Retreat the necklace lost by Seymour Fishborn. Tribute to the victims. Locate the site where the bombing took place. That should be easy. I wish they were they would all show up on the map. Oh, that's down there. Fuck, we've been there, see? I I went there, but I shouldn't have gone there. I should have talked to everyone first. Mm, what else can we do? Retrieve gin bottles. That's right here. That's really close by. Ah, oh, Universal! Thank you! Good to see you live! I don't want to fight. I'm too tired. Too fast for you! There we go. Haha! -ha. Forgot I can do this also out of combat. Makes me a lot faster. <laughs> Look, I'm almost there. Stephanie, thank you! Oh, Jawachi, did I miss those bits? Thank you so much! Okay, it's really close. Should be here somewhere. I walked past it. Hmm. Is it maybe up? Yeah, I feel like it's up. Watch it. It's a killer. Aha. Aha. Tom has so much alcohol, he could keep this district afloat for quite some time. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Newspaper article. Youth arrested for attempted murder. Last night a young man named Tom Watts was arrested by the police for attempted murder in the renowned restaurant The Silver Bell on Percival Street. The suspect was spotted standing in front of the restaurant pointing a gun at the customers for about one minute without firing. Two witnesses promptly reported his behavior. Watts was arrested without incident but refused to give any explanation for his actions and only gave his name. His gun was loaded, confirmed that policeman who answered our questions. It is likely that Watts will feel the full force of his majesty's court for this transgression. The young man shall be jailed for a few years at least. Damn. That's tough. Okay. 
Okay, so we got his stash now. There we go. Think the werewolf is still alive? Oh, he's almost dead though. Don't fuck me up! No! No! Fucking die! Yes. That takes care of him. Hehe. <laughs> Oh, I should heal up. Two, one, and again. Three, two, one, and again. There we go. All better. Um, let's see. So that was the bar. What's this one? Choose what to tell to Tom Watts. Bring back the gin bottles or lie to him and keep them. Why would I keep them? Don't want to die. It's so weird that the dude follows me now on Twitter, sweary. He follows everyone. Like, he follows like 65,000 people, so it's nothing special. But we do kind of talk every now and then. When he goes to like Fukuoka, I'm like, you have to eat this and this. And he's like, yeah. Um. Am I close to the bar? Is that why I'm not seeing it? Okay, it is... so it's... This way and to the right, I think? Ice cream's so good! I think I still have some ice cream in the freezer. Well, there's the dude. That means the bar is here. Welcome back, Doctor. What can I do for you? Your warehouse wasn't empty. That's what I should do, right? You lied to me, Tom. Your warehouse wasn't empty. It was inhabited with armed vigilantes. I'm sorry, Dr. Reed, but I thought those pre one guards would be willing to let someone like you pass without trouble. That was devious of you, Tom. Next time you can bloody well go yourself. I apologize, Doctor. <laughs> but it's just that I prefer to avoid the law, its enforcers, but no, and all of thugs in uniform. Here is your booze. I hope it will appease your customers. Just try not to kill anyone with this poison. What would I gain from keeping the alcohol? Honestly, I would only get drunk myself. Can we say anything about his article? Oh, ooh, ooh! So many things! murder. Give me some details. I was given an order. An order to kill. Oh, he was a gang member. He was a gang member at the time. A proud, wet boot boy. He got out. Why did you join the gang? Because I finally felt useful. Do you have any idea what it means to feel respected when the rest of the world shits on you? So you were ordered to kill someone. What happened? Let's get there? to know him a I bit don't know better. If you can possibly understand, but I couldn't kill him. I just stood there pointing my gun. My my glasses are hurting my ears. I gave up. Why couldn't you shoot? <sighs> That's My better. target was eating in that fancy restaurant with mirrors and music. He was eating, drinking, laughing. He was having such a good time. I hated him for his... They were hurting my ears. ...an easy life of easy pickings. Because there's like and the hat and the happened. headphones pressing down on them. You refused to kill him because you wanted to feel some of that happiness yourself. You empathized with him. Exactly. The man was a bloody landlord who rented overpriced flats. A selfish bastard. But he made me smile. And I was no different from him. Mm. Tell me about your arrest for attempted murder, Tom. 
I tried to kill someone. I got arrested. I paid my debt and I have nothing to hide. I finished my milk. So you mean your customers know about your sordid past? Yeah. yeah why do you think this is the last pub open? I have nothing to hide and I don't judge. Nom, nom, nom. That's a relief for many round here. Do you think prison changed you? Made you a better man? Oh, I don't know about that. All I brought back is bad memories, scars. Maybe it's a prison tattoo. And an ugly tattoo of a blue turtle. Ah, it's a turtle. All I know is that oh, I'm no, I see it. Yeah, okay. Did, so it's a prison it tattoo. Does that make me a better man? I don't know. Why not leave town? Start a new life after Looks like he kind of jail. started a new life. I, I mean, he has a bar. This is where my roots are. This is where I want to help others and die eventually. Do you think the docks will always be a hive of scum and villainy? As long as poverty and fear run the show, I don't see how it would change. Misery loves company, as they say. Don't you feel threatened? Staying in such a violent and criminal neighborhood. I've made peace with my violent past, Dr. Reed. I may not be a pacifist, but I'm not angry anymore. Sabrina seems very fond of She you. likes you. I like her too. I really do. <laughs> I know I'm her boss, and I'm much older and all. But I like her for sure. What is bothering you then? Sabrina is an angry one. She wears it like a coat. I'm not sure I can make her shed that anger. It hurts to see her like that. Hmm. Can we use that? Goodbye, Mr. Watts. A few clients. <laughs> Gum, no, I won't. I won't do. Uh, I won't do another shirt anytime soon. I still haven't still gotten back the costs hour. from the last shirt. That's what like I, I, I still haven't paid the revenue I gained from the sales. They still haven't added up to what I paid the designer. Tell me, Sabrina, do you really believe Tom has renounced his life of crime? He proves it to me every day he tells the truth. Tom Watts is a good man. One of the best. And you don't think he might fall back into his sordid ways? We can all do terrible things, Dr. Reed. And we never know what we're really capable of until it's too late. Okay. Were you aware of Tom's past incarceration? That's the first thing he told me when he offered me the job. He That's didn't honest want me of him. hearing about his past from anyone else. Did it surprise you to find out about it? Not really. I was already aware of his reputation before I met him. That's why I came to the town. Vampire matchmaker. Place. Most people would have run away. I am. That. Not me. I thought a man like him could give me stability. You know. At least to some degree. And I wasn't mistaken. I think that was it. Yeah. Need one more hint. Goodbye, Miss Cavendish. Did I have anything for him? Good evening, Mr. Delaney. Delaney. What? Oh, oh no. He, yeah, uh, no. Goodbye, Mr. Delaney. We needed to check out the bomb site for him. There was a really quick way of getting there. I just... It was here, wasn't it? So we do have to pass the bridge. I think it shouldn't be too hard to find it, actually, now that we're here. Let's do it. Oh, I can't do the... the fuck? can't do the evade anymore. Oh, I have to cross this bridge? I don't think I can from here. Here we are. Uh, so dark in here, I can hardly see what I'm doing. There we go. Oh, am I fighting? At least then I can do this. And now I can keep doing it. Nice.
<laughs> I'm going too fast for the game. It has to catch up. I hope I don't gl glitch myself doing this, though. <laughs> Sliding all over the map. Ah, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. I can't go up there until I finish the fight. Quick, quick, quick. Quick, do it. This is no place do it. Ah, oh, fuck. I want to get up there. Ah, Christ. Okay. Can I please? Pretty please? No. God damn it, that hurts, dude. He's getting ready for the counter. You're mine, Fuck you. Uh -huh. I only hit him a little bit. Oh, he has blood resistance. The fucker. But not claw resistance, so that's good. There we go. Okay, can I now please move on? Thank you. Where's the icon? I don't even see it. Didn't I track it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm tracking it. Hmm. Weird. Maybe it's just around here? Ah, fuck. They're all back. Kidding me? Die, Fucking die! Okay. Now, where is it? Somewhere around here. Locate the site where the bombing took place. Okay. Maybe follow the blood? Doesn't make sense with bombing, though. What's that? Flower bouquet? Why am I picking that up? Hmm. Someone needs flowers, maybe? Yes. Ah. The place has changed since the explosion, but it was definitely here. I should find some way to pay my respect. May all who suffered from this... Aha! All rest in peace. That's it. Now we can go back. Itchy eyebrow. Zoom, zoom, zoom. I'm a fast boy. Gotta go fast. This really is the bridge theme, the music. Every time it starts playing, I'm just like, oh, it's different. 
Night taken. See you later. It's his own version of <laughs> Brigitte Shield Bash. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I keep getting taking out like my my club there? Okay. Uh Dyson's in the bar, right? Who are these people? Talked to him before, but this one? <gasps> A new guy! Hey! Hello, boy. Oh, it's a boy. Hello. Rufus. Good evening. Did I scare you? You have nothing to fear from me. Rally no, to me! <laughs> Far. To avoid me. Well, I won't. I'm a doctor. When she gives her armor, I always Bruce, feel like it sounds uh, like, Give it the Bruce creep! <laughs> Do you know a man who lives in this part of town? A man named Sean Hampton. I'm looking for him. Sorry, sir. I don't know a lot of folks around here. Most prefer to avoid me. Well, I don't think you should talk to him. He may be very sick. Thanks for the tip. You might want to check the turquoise turtle. It's a pub not far from here. The barkeep knows everyone in these parts. What can you tell me about this region? It's all about staying out of trouble. But since most people prefer to avoid me... It's Boy needs easy. a bath. <laughs> Why do people avoid you? It doesn't look too bad. Call me Rufus it's mostly curse. shading, I think. Around here, I'm a bit of a bad luck charm. Aww. Have you ever thought about leaving? <laughs> Where else would I go? At least I know these streets and some people around here. This is my city, for better or worse. What do you do around here? I hope you guys don't mind, but I really I actually- I actually really enjoy, like, this super laid-back kind of gaming that we're doing. Bob. I'm just, like, talking to a lot of people. Do you have a job? It's hard to work. Hey, Zvan. What with my head and all. Since I was a boy, I've always had trouble remembering what I do and why I do it. He seems a bit grey, yeah. What do people say about this place? Things have been tense between the wet boot boys and the communists. They both feel they should run the dog. You're loving this, Amaya? Ah, oh, that's great to hear. Thank you. I'm always afraid that it's like not entertaining enough, but I'm actually really enjoying myself alone? just doing all the quests. Where is your family? <laughs> I, I don't have any. Yay, thank you, guys. My are dead. So you have no home? You're sleeping rough. No. I mean, yes. I live on the streets. I have no home. This city has abandoned so many of its children. It's tragic. Well, I've known worse. I'm not all alone. I have Mrs. Fishburne. She's been very kind to Mrs. me. Mrs. Fishburne? Why do you think she's so considerate. I can't say so. What boot boys? Yeah, they need a better gang a name. Soul. I agree, Tamaranian. And hey, good to see you. It just reminds me of with the wet bandits. <laughs> Stella Fishburne. We haven't seen her yet. So long, Rufus. Oh, let's see if he's Be sick. Take care. Anemia. I don't think I have anything for that. I only have a treatment for fatigue on me. Um, my, I think my thing is really close though. I think it's like right around the corner if I remember correctly. Because it was this dude. I, I, I cured him really fast too. I think it's like up here. Maybe? Yeah. One anemia cure coming up. Whoop. Done. Let's cure this boy. Dark chocolate has lots of iron, good for anemia. Really? <laughs> I hate dark chocolate though. <laughs> it's not sweet enough for me. I need my sugar. Evening, Rufus. Evening, Mr. Reed. 
Do you need help? A real doctor caring about me. That's a first. I feel like oh, a real yeah. Put my leg down. My knee's getting a bit stiff. A real I love sitting with one leg up. I don't know what to say. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Aw. He's so thankful. Holy shit. So long, Rufus. Be careful. Take care. Take care now. Bye bye now. Okay. Uh, how am I doing this? There. Cables. Oh, is that a door? Here you are. Found you. Good evening, madam. I'm ah, Dr. Fishburne. Could I come in? Why? What do you want? Hey, Stella. I work at the Pembroke Hospital. I'm investigating the flu epidemic in this area. Oh, the Spanish flu. Well, that's quite liberal of you, Doctor. But this is no time to be knocking at people's doors. The disease takes I won't take no for an answer, too. Stella. Why not let me in? It's Mrs. Fishburne. Stella Fishburne. And yes, indeed. Why not let a doctor in? Here we go. The people are so tiny compared to their huge doors. Just taking everything in their house. I need to I need stuff to make cures, okay? It's a necessary evil. They understand. No one gets angry at me. Okay. Now let's talk to her now that we took all her stuff. <laughs> it's locked, oh, all right. Best grow eyes in the back of that head, sir. Gentlemen are easy targets in these parts. So you have questions about hey, the flu, then? Yes. Oh, she looks kind of cute. Things. Forgive my rudeness at the door. It's just my son doesn't like. Is that like a silver brooch? I'm trying to locate Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know? I already know where he is, but I'm just exhausting all You're dialogue options. About the one everyone calls the sad saint, the man who takes care of the homeless. What time the very is it? same, Miss Fishman. Oh, I'm sorry. My Fitbit's out of battery. Shelter is, but if you ask around, I'm sure you'll get your answer. Gotta charge my watch. Hold on. There. Ouch. Hitting all kinds of things. There you go. The orphan that regards you as a mother. Please tell me about him, Stella. You mean Rufus? I wish I could do even more for the poor boy. Most people are so selfish. But you're not. Years may have passed, but I haven't forgotten how it feels to go through days with nothing but an empty stomach. Oh man, that must have sucked though. How is life around here? Life has always been hard in the East End. But it's everywhere nowadays, isn't it? Do you think the increase in violence has anything to do with the epidemic? Don't know. But it's most likely linked to the gangs, if you ask me. Recently, it's like everyone has had to pick a side. Violence has always fed on poverty, don't you think? It's a cruel law of the human condition. And selfishness is their rotten fruit. These days, you can just die in the gutter and no one will bat an eye. Okay. May I ask what you do for a living, Mrs. Fishburne? Since my husband died, I worked at the Dawson Rope Factory, but it closed before the war. I occasionally help at the night asylum in exchange for food. Damn. Did your husband die in the war? Oh no. My Jack was a docker. He died when my Seymour was just a lad. The poor boy saw his dad slip and fall from that scaffolding. No, oh, that sucks. How do you pay the rent, then? My Seymour works at the docks, just like his dad. He's very attached to the house. Did we talk to a dude named Seymour? It's not always easy, but we get by all right. Okay. Goodbye, Miss Fishburne. Oh, we should check Take her health. Yourself. She's healthy. Okay. 
Well, Stella, then I'll see you later. Okay. I think we're doing well so far. We're curing everyone we're finding sick. Oh, he has to do things. But he's recovering. That was Rufus. Um, only three more people to find. They might be in the in the asylum, honestly. Let's see. We were tracking... Oh yeah, we gotta go back to the bar. Um, I think that's just this way. Yeah. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm getting the hang of the neighborhood now. Dyson! Where are you at? Good evening, Mr. Delaney. What? Um, oh, you're a doctor. Um, something went wrong there. Let me reset Goodbye, that. Mr. Delaney. Okay. Are they stupid or so few clients. There we go. Good That's evening, probably better. Yeah. What? Oh, you're a doctor. I found the location of the explosion, Mr. Delaney. I placed a flower for you where it happened. Just as you asked. Really? That's, that's so kind. It is very I kind. I never thought someone would... Well, thank you, Doctor. It's nothing, really. And I'm sorry. The Night Asylum sounds like oh, a good no, fantasy I, romance. I it sounds like you. a hidden no object game. <laughs> Stupid bastard. Why did he park there? You're the man who hit that bomb. I don't want to talk about it. Leave me alone. Damn, dude. I sense your guilt, Dyson. Why is that? Did you not think violence was an acceptable political tool? I still believe our fight was just by killing an innocent couple who were just at the wrong place at the wrong time. No way. He's so drunk. He's just like, ooh. Uh, I don't know which one to pick for these options. You made a mistake. A terrible mistake, maybe an unforgivable one. But that does not mean that you are a monster. I swear I did not want to kill anyone. I did not hide in the shadow to kill on purpose. That's my only defense. What? I thought that was a good, nice way to put it. I want you to remember the bomb, Dyson. Tell me about it. No, I don't. I don't want to remember it. Why use a bomb? What were you trying to destroy? The Dawson and Dawson ammunitions factory. A symbol of violence against the people. My group wanted to destroy it to send a message. There's a random gap in the shirt. I've been staring at it, it this entire time, Jalren. It's so noticeable. I keep thinking, like, is it, is, how does it work? Because they're both buttons, so why is it open? <laughs> the victims. They were not the target then. The I gap in the so shirt. It's a separate reality. <laughs> I used a short fuse. No car had ever parked there. They all died. Vampires usually can't have human food anymore, right? Or they get really sick. Is there anything? Oh, I think it? I already. Yeah. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Delaney. I think I did it. Yeah. Investigation succeeded. Okay. Let's um. Do another one. Report the death of the grave diggers. Hide the truth. Oh, we can just talk to Duina. Okay. Um. Who's she talking to? Oh, the other dude. Yeah. Good evening, Miss Cox. Hello again, Doctor Reed. What do you want? I managed to reach the mass grave in Southwark. Southwark. Not pleasant. Spare me I say South Wark. <laughs> All I want to know is what happened to those bastards who owed me money. Well, they died. I'm afraid those bastards, as you call them, are in the mass grave. Dead. Shit. That money would have been useful. Well, I'll tell my boys to avoid the place if it's that dangerous. Yes. Everybody should avoid that place until further notice. Okay then, Doctor. It looks like you deserve your reward after all. The wet boot boys thank you for your help. Hey, nice. 
Tell me your feelings about Booth's belief in Booth's monsters. Belief. <laughs> it makes him look weak in front of the boys. That's my feeling about it. But ghosts don't scare me. You don't believe he really saw something then? I don't care what he saw or not. All I know is that a real man keeps his fears to himself if he wants to be obeyed. New hint available. Where do I ask it though? Goodbye, Miss Cox. Maybe it's a hint on her for someone else. I think I have something new for the dude too that's like hanging around here. Can I talk to you? <laughs> you again. What do you want? Here we go. I know you believe monsters are real, Booth. They are. I know, I saw one. I mean, no one believes me. Doesn't everyone believe it with what's Tell going what on? They're everywhere. It was a few years ago. Clay Cox was still the boss then. He'd sent me to the shipyard to find out who was stealing tools and ropes at night. Go on. First, I thought. Hey, Rich! Oh, <gasps> we have two riches now. <laughs> crooked. I'll call you homie instead. Hey, homie. <laughs> What's up, homie? <laughs> it looked straight at me. Do you know what it was? It was all eyes and long teeth, but I, I, I couldn't see its face. I shot at it when it moved towards me and I hit it. And then it jumped and vanished in the shadows. You could have imagined all that. These docks can be so gloomy at night. With the fog and the wind, the boats creaking. No, daughter. That night, I saw the fucking sewer dog for real. It's not a beast, like the stories say. It's the ghost of an old woman. Bullets can't stop it. But no one believes me. Do you think he saw a vampire or a werewolf? Vampire, probably? Are your friends mocking you? Even if Weena told me once to never speak about it. But I know what I saw. And it wasn't a human. Oh, good night, kid. See you later. Super glitch in Hyrule Warriors really put me in a bad spot with a headache and nausea. Oh, that sucks. Tell me about the man you Sleep killed, it off. Booth. Hope you feel better. What happened? One of us had been killed, so we had to retaliate. That's the whole story. There has to be more to it than that. No, really. One of us got killed, so the killer had to die. That's how things have always been done around here. No one gives a shit. No one gives a shit. Are you so heartless that you could pull the trigger and kill someone without even blinking? Have you looked around recently? Do you really think one more body will make a difference? Hmm. Okay. That's it for now. Goodbye, Mr. Digby. Mr. Diggity Digby. I think things are going pretty well. Take some posters from the pile. Oh, that's not hard to do. Where is that? It must be that little icon, that diamond icon. I guess I can't do the wishing, the shadow step in populated areas. That's probably why I can't do it right now. Oh, I gotta be careful. If I go to this area, I might not be able to get to where I want to be because of the fences. Yeah, see, he's on the other end. I gotta be careful. I gotta take the other bridge. An SG? What's that? Temeranian. It's it's good, I think, homie, but it's it's definitely slow paced. Very heavy on dialogue. If you can handle that, if you keep that in mind, then you're good. I feel like that. The world building is amazing, but it's very slow paced and it's gonna take a long time talking to everyone. Night shelter vicinity. Getting close. Oh, I'm here. I see. Oh, it's this. Vampire poster. Dangerous closer. Oh, that's a cool poster. I would like one of those posters. Dangerous closer than you think. They are already here. Do not let them take the kingdom. See a vampire? Seek for help. Ichabod Throgmorton. Cool. Okay. 
Choose what to do about Ichabod Thongwon's campaign. Stick five posts in the streets of the East End docks or burn them all. <sighs> I mean... I can just put them up, I think. I don't think it really matters. Because I was standing right in front of him and he has a, he doesn't have a clue. So... Do I put it up here? Informing London's inhabitants okay. of the presence of vampires. What does that make me? A double or a triple agent? <laughs> I'll help him out. I like the poster, I really want it. I hope the, the company starts selling it at some point. Done. Mr. Throgmorton should be happy. I gotta report to him. Oh, he's here? Okay. Uh Okay, I should be able to go through here. Oh, new stuff. Or I guess I just maybe missed that cabinet. Please, sir. Come on, Triple agent sounds like a detergent. <laughs> Where is he? Where'd he go? Wasn't it this way? It should be like right here. There's Enid. Where the fuck is it? It's locked. This is the, the asylum. We're getting close to it. This lady we haven't talked to yet. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. May I have Visual a novel type video Good games? Evening, ah, I don't know. My name is Giselle Paxton. Maybe, but I don't, but I don't know. Like have we met really before? depends. No. It has to be the right but theme, I, I guess. Your fancy clothes to know that you must be desperate to visit the docks at night. That's quite judgmental. Sir? I've led enough strikes when I had a job to identify you as an enemy of the working class. My, my. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? What is it you want? Does he owe you money? Has he displeased Does he owe you your money? Highness? Her I accent reminds me of The Conjuring, too. May I ask what you do for a living? I'm killing myself scraping for a living. And you? Have you ever had to struggle in your entire life? As I told you, I'm a doctor. You have to work a lot to earn that title. Oh, a doctor. Hmm, born with money in a nice house, were we? Was Daddy a banker or a doctor himself? Damn, girl. Why such hatred? Are you judging me by my clothes and my job? Of course I am. Fuck, you're so blind. <laughs> you don't even see your privilege. Lazy people like you disgust me. Lazy? What the fuck, girl? What can you tell me about this vicinity? Tell you what. Just spend a few weeks here and then ask me that question My again. Ears, she? Oh, no. If you're still alive, I mean. Uh, okay. Okay. If you have something to say, say it. I'm getting tired. I'm a vampire, oh, Sasha. You want information instead? Well, here's some for you. Giselle Paxton does not like you at all, Doctor. Oh, okay. You don't know me, Miss Paxton, and yet you see me as an enemy. Oh, your manners, your clothes, your words tell me everything about you, sir. I know your kind, and you don't belong here. What an annoying woman, yeah.
You're right. I have never suffered from poverty. But that doesn't mean I don't fight it and its consequences. I really doubt you ever had to fight for anything in your life, Dr. Reed. Damn. Do you need medical help, Miss Paxton? No, thank you. Okay, well. Well, fuck I'll off leave then. You for now. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. Hey, <laughs> Ichi. Yeah, she's healthy. Okay. I hope I can talk to her without triggering Dreamers. anything. Because she's Dr. like the James last person I need, I think, I on the map. A fancy doctor lurking at night by the docks. <laughs> Not fishy at all. And what about you? Working outside at night in this dangerous part of town. You want to know my secret? I'm trying to earn money. My eyes are still evil, right? Paxton, by Hell the way. yeah, they are. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? Mr. Hampton must be in his office at the night asylum he manages, I suppose. Why do you want to see him? He was a patient of mine at the Pembroke Hospital, but he left abruptly. I see. Well, Mr. Hampton is. I love the voice actor for Dr. Reed. I'm it's sure so nice to listen to him. Is it not dangerous to work here at night? As long as I have good legs, I can run away from trouble. The sad saint now provides me and my sister a bed and a roof. Love the name Lottie. I don't want to lose that. <laughs> it's cute. Are I just. I know a Lottie in, in Dutch is Lotte. I know a Lottie and she wasn't nice. So I have bad a bad association with the name. I always had a beard, yeah. <laughs> yes. What can you tell me about this place? How are things here? It may be okay for a strong girl like me. A dandy doctor from the city like yourself. You better watch your back, Mr. Reed. You really think I should go back to a safer place? No. <laughs> I have a I beard. Think you yeah. better stay and help as many people as you can. Just avoid the wet boot boys. Those bastards. If I were a dude, though, thing. I would definitely have a beard. I would be way too lazy to shave. Which local dangers must I avoid? Well, the gangs, the thieves, the drunks, the jobless. A man with your fancy clothes will attract a lot of attention. Well, I am not someone so easily intimidated. Glad to hear that. And if you get into trouble, you can always Is that when one bad Sean person Hampton ruins a name for you? Yeah, no one would it happens. Violent there. Okay. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. And she's healthy, so that's good. Let's see. Only one more. And everyone is healthy and we cured everyone who wasn't so far. So we're doing very well, I'd say. Um, I have to report to him, but I haven't seen him here. He has to be around here somewhere. Yeah, I, I really can't find him. I guess I'll just leave it and then hopefully I'll run into him later. Okay. Retrieve the necklace. Easy enough. Please. I know these docks like the back of my hand now. Something is a very good idea. Thank you. <laughs> See, should be down here. His own little corner, his own little chair. Oh yeah, I don't understand the ref. Oh, it's another train. Um. I need to go more to the south. Let's see. Okay, so we're in the area now. Retrieve the necklace. Lost by Seymour Fishburn. So it can be anywhere. It can be just lying somewhere. 
Let's have a look at anything that sh is shiny. Shiny boxes. Could be just lying somewhere. Maybe he's got solid snake syndrome. <laughs> What's that mean? War munition volunteers. Still in the right area. Wait, this is him. He's not at all where he said he was on the map. Doctor Reed. What? Be of any assistance? Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? That was just a mistake in the game then. Public service announcement. Consider the common folk warned about the vampiric presence. Thank you, Dr. Reed. You may not realize it, but you saved a great many lives today. Do you really think they could be useful? See the sad saint of the East End? How a single man can help so many people? I consider myself the discreet the body protector here. Yeah. of these men and women. Okay, investigation succeeded. New hint available. You've never faced, let alone killed, a vampire Ichabod. You're a fool. Ichabod. No, I'm not. I may embellish the truth concerning my Hey boys. But I'm totally dedicated to or my Remy. quest. Stop fooling yourself. You've never faced a vampire before. Well, he has. He stand He's chance. facing one but right that's now. That's true, sir. I've already faced one of these creatures. Oh, really? <laughs> and you're still alive. Hi, Brown. Hey. We, we, we did not actually fight. I let it go. What do you mean? I entered the vampire's den. The stench was terrible. I was ready to kill it. But then I saw it. Just a suffering soul like you and me. I spared her. Tell me about the vampire you spared. It was... She was a girl. Her body was a mess. I could see pus. Oh, pus. <laughs> I thought you said I could see puss. <laughs> she was crying in pain. You cared about her. That's what defines us Saw as some puss. Ichabod. Yes. She was a truly <laughs> evil creature. I'm haunted by the tragedies she caused ever since I spared her. Tell me, Ichabod, why do you consider yourself the protector of Sean Hampton Shelter? He is a truly inspiring example. Dedicated, pious. His shelter is open to all, whoever they are. Most admirable. I can't believe the dude's just standing so, here. Why the fuck was the game like he's over exactly there? How exactly are you protecting these people? I'm curious. I patrol late at night. Oh, we already, yeah, did that one. Goodbye, and good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. Okay. Uh, finally did that one. Okay, necklace. Necklace, necklace, necklace. I wonder if... If it's like the thing with the grave or the bombing one, where like if I don't have the mission I can't grab it yet. Or if it's or if it's like one of those things where I already had it if I walked by it. I'm not sure. You know? Where like I already have it in my inventory and then be like, oh, this, I picked this up somewhere. I should have offered a drink to the boy. Being cursed or not, he's I just the kind of lost all Don't see anything here. I feel like I've been pretty thorough anyway. Did we get any hint or something about the necklace? Uh, 
He lost the necklace he wanted to offer to his mother. If it can help the man calm down, maybe I should try to find the lost gift. Hmm. Doesn't tell me much. Not a hint like it's at the post box. Remember that one? That was good. Am I out of the zone now? Yes. What do you think would be a good place to put it, or to lose it? This is also the edge. It's not too big of an area. Okay, it could be here though. But, I already have been here. This is a slaughterhouse. This is the sewer I wanted to get to, or no, no. It's, it's locked, all mm. right. Necklace. From I found it. To my beloved mother Stella. Fishburn, that sneaky bastard. Ah oh, man, this keys. It's locked. I need the key. Okay. Bring back the necklace, or give it to his mother Stella. But doesn't he want to give it to Stella? Wait, wait, wait. So he... He wanted us to find it. For his mom. The mom's the one who's taking care of the orphan. So the mom is a really good person. Um... And the necklace we find has a letter, letter from Seymour to Ma Stella. But why was it? Why did he say the bastard? Bloody necklace. Blood stains and small handwritten tag. I don't know what to do. Should I just give it straight to the mother? Good evening, Mrs. Fishburne. May I come in, please? Of course. Dr. Reid. His attitude towards the other dude was kind of negative, so I guess I'll just give it straight to her. The epidemic is what worries people most these days. What can I do for you, Dr. Reed? I believe you may find this necklace of interest. What is it? I don't understand. It's a gift your son was hoping to give you. But I'm afraid it links him to the nearby murders. Oh, maybe yeah, this was a bad this idea. This to one of his victims. Jesus. I knew this day would come. Please, Dr. Reed. Accept this for your trouble, and leave me be. This day? You mean you already knew? Are you buying my silence? I will not be an accomplice in this. What? No. No. My son's crimes distress me more than you can imagine. But I'm his mother. I love him, I do. Hmm. Goodbye, Miss Fishbone. Take care of yourself. Guess that was a bad idea. There's the kid. Good evening, Mr. Fishbone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about your victims, Seymour. Who were they? Why them? Was there a link? Why should there be? They just kept getting on my nerves at the worst times. That's all. Damn. How many? How many victims? It's not like I keep records. It happens when it happens. When it happens. You feel nothing, do you? 
No empathy for your victims at all. You seem pretty calm yourself, don't you? We're not talking about me. That right. Well, our calm's the only thing we have in common then. Damn. Did you take pleasure in killing them, Seymour? All those people, all those lives extinguished. I take no pleasure from it. Just gives me peace. Mm. Stills the anger. For a time. Snack time. <laughs> this rage you feel. Have you ever been able to control it? Resist it? I... I tried. For my mum. I tried for her. Telling the truth made me feel better. For a while. Don't you think you should seek help? Talk to someone you trust. Someone who cares about you. No. And don't dare speak about me to your colleagues either. Keep your mouth shut tight. Especially about my mum. Well, I already told her. Why is your mother protecting you, Seymour? I'm a son. She's the only one who knows me. Sometimes I think she knows me better than I know myself. I understand you love her, but can't you see the awful situation you've put her in? Do you think my mum would have a better life if I were dead? She seems so sad to know me sometimes. Oh. I understand your mother's situation. Obtaining justice at the price of betraying her own flesh. It's quite a dilemma. It might be my mum's wish that I end up swinging from a hangman's noose. But she wouldn't want to be the one who ties a knot round my neck. Oh, interesting. Let me go back to her. Let me just confirm that with her and then uh, we might get rid of him. <laughs> Good evening, Mrs. Fishburne. May I come in, please? So I just had a word with your son. <laughs> Let's grow eyes in the back of that head, sir. What can I do for you, Dr. Reed? Tell me about these demons Seymour needs your help to fight. Seymour used to be such a happy child. And he is still a helping son most of the time. But when he gets angry, he can hardly contain his rage. All so you want me to drink your son's blood? Innocent, yeah. Mrs. Fishburne. But there can be a monster within any of us. The monster within. Do you think he can be cured? The evil Doctor? within! Do you think something can extinguish this rage uh, inside my Seymour? Hi. Hi, hi, hi. The human mind is a mystery. Justice is the cure. Science has only just begun to investigate the mysteries of the human mind. Currently, we have more assumptions than fact. <laughs> Alice. <laughs> there ain't no hope, then. Somehow, somewhere, my son has turned into a monster. And nothing will bring him back. Damn. Your son's gone way beyond simply bullying people. He has a taste for blood, and you know it, don't you, Stella? I mean, we already accomplished this, but or in his own words, how, do you, what, how do you say it? Established it was this. Several days after one of his episodes. Why did he confess? Did you suspect something? No. I guess he wanted his old mum to help him fight his uh, demons. Did Seymour tell you everything that night? More than I could stand. The words he used to describe his hate, his rage. Damn. How he feels when he's done it. Stella, I know you are ashamed of your son's crimes. So why do you protect Seymour? I can't report my own son, can I? Not a burden I could bear. Burden? How do you mean? They'd hang him for sure. I won't send my only son to his death. Hmm. I'm convinced you raised Seymour the best you could. You're not responsible for what he became. If someone ever found the courage to speak to the police, I will take my share. Damn. Okay. So she does think he's, like, done for. 
Goodbye, Miss Fishbone. Take care of yourself. What do you guys think? Should we kill them? Where is he? Did he run off? Run off. Is he here? Because that would be perfect. No. Yeah, he is killing people. Like, what if we don't do anything and then he, like, kills the other boy evening, because yeah, he yeah, thinks yeah. his mom loves him more? The good kid. Oh, my mesmerize isn't good enough, though. We can't even kill him, Goodbye, even if we wanted to. Okay. Well, I gotta end the stream soon. I'm getting really, really hungry. Um, let's see if there's anything we can wrap up real quick. No, we haven't found the man in the sewers yet. We finished everything else, though. That's really good. I think we did really well. We can still go to their house. I mean, not today, because... Kaz, I'm pretty much done. No, nothing we can wrap up quickly. I think we did really, really well today. I think this district is going to be healthy the next day, because everyone's recovering and stuff. We haven't killed anyone. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's just uh, end it there. Let's just go to my hideout. Because I'm, I'm getting super hungry. I'm just like slowly collapsing now. <laughs> I need to eat. A girl needs to eat. We could definitely do an X-Files though, I think. Um, just give me a sec to like... Oh no, not rest. Oh, that's why I went here. Because I thought I needed to like rest, like save, but I don't have to. I keep forgetting. I think it, it'll save right now. See if the icon appears. I guess I didn't do anything. I should have saved the conversations. I should be fine. Okay. Let's see. It was a fun stream. I'm really getting into like that we just we I we fully explored the docks today. We did like all the side quests and stuff. I think we're now ready to go uh find the pillar. I think that'll be good for next time. So we haven't done much story actually, but... Jawaji, Jojo, Gam, Mero, Ego, Taken, Kenshin, Stephanie, Outcast, and Soul. Thank you so much for the bits. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. Thank you everyone who followed me today. I'm so glad you guys found me. Um, we're pretty much... Let's see, it's Friday today, isn't it? Uh... I think, maybe? I'll check in a bit. Kid Harold and Mela, thanks so much for the subs and resubs. Thank you. What day is today? Friday, yeah. So Thursday for you, Thursday night for you guys. Um, so that means next stream will be Sunday night. And we'll play a hidden object game. After that, I'll be going to Tokyo for a couple days. So there won't be a couple streams. Won't be streams for a couple days. Uh, but after that, I'll be back with Vampire, and I want to finish it. So it should be like maybe two, maybe three more streams, something like that, I think. That should be it. Yeah, so I'll see you for Enigmatis 2, Sunday night, hopefully. Um, and that'll be it. I'm taking the weekend off this week. For some rest and some cleaning. Thank you guys, I'll see you for X-Files uh, in a bit on Discord. So if you're subbed, oh! No! My head spasmed. I'm sorry. <laughs> so if you're a sub, don't forget to get to Discord and then uh, it'll be in Movies Channel. And um, that's it. Thank you guys and I'll see you Sunday night. Bye!